How to do JSON search using NIFI expression language. Part of our expression language uh, chapter, we're going to touch today on JSON search using expression language. If you haven't done so, make sure you go and clone this repo on your local, because here we have all the templates that are going to be used in the video. So click on this, we'll take you there. Uh, if you don't know how to upload a template, follow the link in the description with a how to video. Let's jump into our NIFI instance and what we'll do, we'll drag on the canvas that particular template. So we're looking for JSON search. Probably one of the strongest feature and most used by me. Um, so basically, let's see what this flow does. We're gonna generate the flow file. We create an attribute. Basically, we provide it with, the, with a JSON payload. So if you look at this particular value, let's copy it. Have it here. We have a first name, last name, age, address, uh, phone numbers, which is a list, and then a list. Before we move on, uh, just as a tip, you want to go to this JSON path. It's not a spam or anything. I use this frequently. So this will be a tool that you will normally use to test your evaluation JSON path. So for example, let's take this for example. If I do a dollar, this will bring everything. And if I want to say, I want to see the first name. Basically, you just type. So this pretty much validates your JSON path. If I want to get, let's say, to this particular number here, I'm going to go and take phone number. And you see right now, this returns me a list. I want to take position one, actually position zero. And I want to see the number. So voila, this will return me this. So this is how you will evaluate with ease. NIFI doesn't provide such an interface. It will only give you the outcome of it. Now going back to our flow. So we have the JSON attribute. And now let's look at the JSON path special language function. Uh, let's start with add element to an array. So in this case, um, we're going to use JSON path add. Uh, and if you if if I will look at this particular payload, basically you see we have this nickname list, and the JSON path add will add to this list an entry. So that's the that's the we'll take the JSON payload. So this particular body or the value of this attribute has to be of type JSON. If you give it a string, he will fail. He won't be able to transverse there. Now let's go to JSON path delete. As the name implies, he will delete a particular key that you have in JSON. Uh, and I forgot to mention, um, the return of this is the remaining of your JSON or the outcome of it. So if we go and we look at this JSON and we say delete this value, it will remove this particular key value pair from your JSON. And this will be the outcome of your uh, function. Again, get child element. You remember with the, uh, we looked at how we can transverse list. So in this case, if I'll copy this um, definition here and paste it here, it will give us the postal code of the address. So you see we have parent element and child element. That's how you will get the child element. So this will just um, return that particular value will not return the entire um, payload. Now, get element. Get element will pretty much be a level up above a uh, child element. So, if we remove this, we'll get address. In this case, will give us the entirety of that object. If we want to get a single line, it will be get an element that doesn't have any child element. So, this is going to be last name byte. Now, Going to the next one, get list element. So get list element basically will return us uh, a list. And if you see here, we're using the same JSON path um, um, function. It doesn't. He's agnostic of the returns. He will return whatever comes as the outcome of your uh, JSON evaluation. So if I were to say, return me this, it will return me this. If I were to say, okay, return me everything, 
dollar star he will return me everything now let's move on to get where element this is a very powerful function i mean the name get where it's i created the attribute but we're going to use the json path so basically what we're telling it here go to the phone number list and whenever the type equals home return me the number so if we were to copy this yeah basically if we look down here we're going to say give me look inside the phone number list and whenever the type equals home returns me if we'll say office then you see the outcome change put json path this is a way that we can add a new element to our json body uh, basically json path put will allow us to add at the root level this key with this value now update element again another powerful function that will allow us to change our first name key value to joe so if you look here we currently it's inside so basically we're going to transform from inside to joe and the return is going to be the entire body so let's jump back in and run this flow to see what's the outcome so first we're going to let one go in create the attribute evaluate the attribute and then here you see i'm not using a json to attribute because the returns are going to be json body so i'm using a replace text here a replace text with some we're looking for everything and i want you to replace it with this basically i'm exposing the variables before and after uh, and let's see how that goes looking at the queue and evaluating the payload we could see that the json we used was this and the get element returned us inside the child element returns us 999 because you remember child element was get me address postal code now get list of elements we told him to bring us the content of this uh, phone number and he returns us the list he doesn't return us the parent key he just returns us this basically get where element we're transversing phone number where type equals home delete element so he returns us the entire payload so basically what we did in the delete element we've removed the name so if you see right now this starts with last name instead of first name update element you remember we change from inside to joe and put element we've added one key at the end of the payload at the root level so we can see it here uh, basically middle name to run all right so that's a wrap for json search uh json search are very powerful and we're going to use them often as you will see in the future tutorial all right so stick around for the next tutorial where we're going to talk about how we can evaluate multiple attributes using nifi expression language <laughs>